Hi, I'm Lance Pearson. If you're anything like me, you're a visual learner rather than uh, someone that picks everything up from reading uh, documentation. Um, with that said, I wanted to discuss uh, what, what I mean by the core uh, of the stretcher bars, and that would be just the expansion uh, mechanics of the stretcher bar itself, whether it's a mechanical stretcher bar like this or the traditional stretcher bar like this. Basically, it's just the inside, it has no bead on it. So we can make these pretty much any depth you want. So if you want a very shallow stretcher bar or you want a very deep one, that's all done with these outer perimeters that we put on. So we make the same inner perimeter every time. And if we wanted this to be two and a half inches deep, then we attach a two and a half inch deep outer perimeter to it. And it's done like that. Normally, we will actually attach these before we assemble it, but uh, for demonstration purposes, you can see that this is how it's done. So that would be, for example, a two and a half inch deep stretcher bar, mechanical stretcher bar. Um, we can go all the way down to about one inch. When we go down to one inch, this is a, basically it doesn't go around the back at all, it goes flush with the back. And for those bars, we cut this groove in there, and that's for the fulcrum point of the pliers. Uh, sometimes you'll have a situation where you don't have enough fabric to, to wrap around very far, so uh, we use this as a fulcrum point. So that's what the front looks like. So we can also do like a one and three eighths deep stretcher bar, same way, by just attaching these thinner pieces rather than the thicker ones. So by um, standardizing our manufacturing process, we just make one primary stretcher bar core and then we can make it any depth we want by just uh, varying the size of these uh, perimeters that we put on. The wood keep structure works the same way. So this is the core of the wood keep structure. And pretty much a no-brainer. So that's one and three eighths. And with these ones, I usually don't go to two and a half inch depth. Um, we make another bar that instead of this one and three quarters bracing, um, it would be the same thing, but it would be two and a half inches deep. And that's normally what we'd use for the deeper profile. It has a little bit more beef too, it's a little more heavy duty. So the construction of this is a keyed mitered spline, and what that means is just a keyed joint. So when it's stretched, you can tap these keys, and it expands the joint open. Uh, that construction's been around for a hundred years. Hundreds of years, pretty ancient technology. It's like Japanese joinery. So that's how these expand. That's how, and the mechanical stretcher bars expand with these 
brass dowels inside and then this bolt right here. And as you tighten the bolt, close down or if you go the other way, it'll push it apart. So it's a very uh, methodical way of expanding a joint or tightening up the canvas. And then there's strainer bars. This is a strainer bar, and we make these from one inch deep to three quarters of an inch deep to uh, one and three quarter, two inches or so. Uh, but our standard is one, one and three quarter, and uh, one and three eighths, which is when it's stretched, it'll be one and a half inches deep, so it'll fit in most frames. Yeah, so these are just nailed and glued. They do not expand at all. Basically what you see is what you get. And these are great, depending on what you want to get out of your stretcher, but these are like the most economic thing you can do um, if you want a custom size piece and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on them. Um, for larger pieces, or if you're using linen, it's highly suggested that you use at least a, a wood keep stretcher. And mechanical stretchers are great for museums or high-end galleries. They're the most expensive thing. They're like the Cadillac of stretcher bars. They're very, very nice. You feel the difference when you're painting on those. And you really don't have to worry about that thing loosening up or having to restretch it because it's so easy to tighten up. Hope that helps.